All right, so we're going to be removing the prop from a Twin Commander 680FP. And the reason is because the uh, bulkhead back here was slipping on the prop and getting up against the blade. So what we're doing is we're replacing the bushings that go in the back between the bulkhead and the, um, and the prop hub uh, so that they lock together better and don't slip. So the first thing that we're going to do is we've got to remove the push pins from the the back of the hub here. These these just they're really just guide pins that run through the the prop to keep this piston in place. So there are some screws in the back of it that we've got to get to, um, and these are the screws. This is what they look like when when we got hold of it. Um, that they previously were installed and these things were stripped off and I'll explain to you why I think they stripped them off uh, in just a moment because um, there's one thing critical that you've got to do and the manual actually goes through uh, the proper process so if you read the manual uh, here's the manual um, so it gives you a list of steps and the the one thing is you'll see here um, the uh, let's see remove the spinner dome and then rotate blow blades toward the low pitch uh, this is obviously not feathered um, and then you're going to once you get the the blades in that uh, unfeathered state um, we're going to uh, if you look right here let's see remove the three jam nuts you need to do this in the unfeathered state because when it when the props are not feathered those push pins are almost all the way out of the bulkhead so you don't have to get back into the bulkhead trying to trying to get through you know get to everything because you'll notice down here the next step is to actually feather the, the prop so we need the the prop in an unfeathered state so that we can go in and re remove those three screws and then feather it and proceed on with your instructions if you do it in a different order it, it'll be a real pain and you'll you're likely to strip those nuts when you go to put them back on um, so we'll explain that in the installation video but right now we're just taking it off so unfeather remove those three nuts um, and then proceed with the rest of the instructions so from here, you'll notice that there's a, a pin here with an Allen head in the end of it. Um, this is the actual bolt. And then there's a lock nut that goes on here that we're actually taking loose at this point. Um, you may have to actually take the, an Allen head and uh, hold it while you release this. In our case, it, it unscrewed pretty easily. But you'll notice that the, the head of this thing is out of the bulkhead. So we're not having to have special wrenches to get in to get to that. Um, once you get those bolts removed, and there's three of them, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to push the pins, and I, we've got a picture here, a little bit better picture. Um, you're going to push this pin in, and you don't you don't push it all the way in because the safety wire won't go through this if you push this all the way in. It, it's a, it's just you can see it's about an eighth of an inch up. Um, so just push it all the way down and then let it up until the safety wire slides through. Uh, you're going to need some pretty thin uh, safety wire um, to get through the hole, but that will keep the safety pins for the feathering uh, lock pins uh, out of the way so that you can feather the prop. So you will have to get those done. Now, one thing that, that you might also have to do is depending on how much pressure is on the pin, you may actually have to put your blade bars or your two by fours with rags wrapped around it that you'll see in a moment um, on the props and and push them even a little bit out of feather even farther to get the pressure released off of this so that you can push the pins down uh, so you may have to actually have a, a couple people working on this to, to get it done so this is the the pin that we're pushing down and you can see how it locks against the there's actually a, a bar that goes across or a plate that goes across the back that this pin's locked against um, so you can see it better here um, so we're trying to get this pin pushed down and if this plate is pushed on the pin too hard that's what i was talking about you may have to put the blade bars on and and pull the prop off of it um, so this is pushed down out of the way so now the plate can actually turn 
So th this is all you need are two two by fours. We wrap some shop rags around them. You're going to put a C clamp on the back and then you'll put a C clamp up here and then you can just use the two by fours to, to feather the prop or to unfeather it if, if that needs to be done. Um, so this is the uh, a nut that we've got to take off. I think this is an inch and three eighths, maybe an inch and a half or something, or an inch and seven sixteenths. Um, so it's a pretty big nut that we've got to release off of the, the end of the prop. So you just take this off. Now once you get that off, um, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to release these uh, rods here. Now to do this, you're going to take the safety wire off of the, the thing and the back screw is the only one that you actually need to unscrew. This front one, as you'll see in just a moment, is actually a pin. Um, so you're going to release the back, pin, the take the back screw out, and then the front is just a pin that, that slides out, and it should fairly easily slide out. Um, so what we're doing is just releasing that rod so that this piston uh, case up here, uh, does, the cylinder doesn't ha have anything holding it. Once we do that, we've gotten everything off. You can see the oil starting to run out of the hub. Um, what we found is there's a seal, an O-ring that goes around the, the cylinder back here. So it's, it's sealed back here in the back. And so what we did is we just put a very little bit of pressure on the back of the piston and pulled it, or the cylinder, and pulled it just off of the front of that bolt. And then we just let the oil drain out. So instead of... You can pull this thing completely off, but you're going to get oil everywhere because it it's going to run from every single part of the cylinder. So we found it's a lot cleaner to just pull it off, let it sit. It takes a, a couple minutes for it to drain out uh, enough to be able to pull the thing on off of the cylinder. Um, so you got a little different view there, but um, there's a good bit of oil inside that thing. So you want to make sure that you let it drain out before you go yanking the, the piston off. So that's the oil running in the bucket. And so now we've pulled it off. You can see there's still, you know, a little bit of oil in there, but it's nothing like, you know, what you would get if you just yanked this thing off. Um, you've got an O-ring here on this threaded piece. Um, in my case, the props had just been put on, so we didn't have to replace any of these O-rings. Uh, but there's an O-ring here that seals up, and then there's an O-ring and a, a little cleaning thing uh, that goes on the inside of this uh, piston here. Um, so you want to be careful that you don't scratch those or mess them up. And, and again, if you're doing this after a while, you probably want to replace those. Now, once we get that out of the way, um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut the safety wire off of the, this, uh, pin, this plate here. So we're going to cut that off of all four of those screws, and then we're going to take those four screws out. So this is pulling the plate off. And you'll notice back here, you'll see in a second, but there's actually a, a, a kind of a snap ring. If it's not really a snap ring, it's just two rings, two half rings that are locking this thing into place. So as long as this thing is pulled toward the front of the airplane, it's it's the back of this thing is pulled up against these these pins or these uh, rings. Um, and then this plate is just holding all of this together. So the plate itself isn't really doing anything other than holding the, the piston toward the front. So we're just going to take these two rings out. So this is one of the rings. And then you can see the other half of a ring is sitting over here. So then we get that out. And then this entire assembly will just slide out of the hub. So it's not really a big deal to get, get it out at all. Now, this is looking down inside of the hub. Um, this is the next step, is getting this nut off of here. Now, before we can do that, you'll notice there is a pin here, and it's got a, a pin that actually slides through. Um, it's just a lock pin that slides through to keep this nut in place. So the nut has holes in it, and this is just sliding up through one of the holes. Um, and then there's two little uh, teeth down here at the bottom. So to get this out, you're just going to stick a screwdriver in and dig underneath this, uh, the two ends to pull them out of their holes. And then you can kind of twist this forward to get the, the pin out. It's not really that big of a deal. This is the tool that you're going to use to actually get the, the thing out or to get the, the nut loose and to tighten it later. Um, so you're just going to take this 
it's got a, a square end that's going to fit between the teeth of that nut. Um, so you slide it into the hub. And then here you can see it sitting in between two of the, the teeth. Um, and then you just slide a, a bar through it and loosen the prop. Now, we made a, a redneck um, brace here uh, to, to hold the prop. It turned out these props weren't really torqued properly, so they were extremely easy to get off of the airplane. Um, but you probably don't want to use a 2x4 because we ended up splitting that 2x4 when we tried to tighten the prop. Uh, so a ladder would be a better option uh, to set it up on the ladder and, and then pull it against the ladder. Um, you're going to be torquing this thing to 600 foot-pounds. Uh, most ladders don't hold that amount of weight, but um, I, I assume that they do okay. We, we ended up not using a ladder because I had something more sturdy to use, but um, Morris has said that, the, that a step ladder works perfectly well, so um, I'm sure he knows best. So step ladder in this case, don't use a 2x4. Um, so you just, you know, once you get that, the, the, uh, nut off of the thing, uh, you can then pull the prop off of the airplane. Now you also are going to have to, if you have de ice, uh, boots on the thing, you're going to have to actually take the electric elements off. Um, that requires taking three screws. Uh, you don't have to take the bulkhead apart. All you're doing is taking these three, three screws out. You will notice that the bulkhead has its own set of wires that come from the back where the um, little ring is on the back of the bulkhead. Um, you'll leave those in place. There's really no reason to mess with those um, unless you're actually overhauling the whole thing. But um, So you'll just take one of these screws loose. This, this plate will slide or spin around and get out of the way. Um, there, you can mark these if you want to. There really isn't any reason because they're only going to go back on in one way. Um, so it's not really very complicated figuring out which, which way to put them back in. Um, so that is the assembly off. So you can see that those wires have been released. Um, and then at that point, uh, and this is actually a picture that shouldn't be in this set. Um, but at that point, you're just going to take the nut out you, or in, in our little video, we've already taken the nut out um, and take the wires off. And then the prop will just slide off of the crankshaft. You can see, let's see if I've got a picture here. Actually, I don't think I have a picture of it off the airplane. Um, there is a, a, the crankshaft is splined. And there, according to Morris, there is no, in the manual, there is no particular way the, the prop needs to go on the airplane. Um, there is a, a one uh, missing tooth on the thing, but it doesn't line up with anything. So it's... I don't. I guess it's for a different kind of prop, but um, the the point is, is that when this prop comes off, you you really two people can pull this off. Um, if you have a forklift or something, that that's fine. But it's not really that heavy. Um, I think it's two hundred twenty five pounds or something. So two people can handle it pretty easily. Um, but you slide the prop the prop off. Now in our case, I was actually taking it off to get to that bushing. So I just put a couple pictures in here of that bushing. Um, this, and there's the splines on those crankshafts that I was talking about. Um, you'll notice right here is the bushing in place. So you can see there's a split here. Um, and this is the thing actually on in the bulkhead. To get this off, unless it's really locked in there, um, I just took a screwdriver and tapped on it and, and popped it loose of those pins. Um, Morris said that he uses just a pick and slides under there and pulls it out. Um, it's not really in there, you know, torqued or anything, so it, it shouldn't be that difficult to get it out. Um, if it is, you'll probably have to call Morris. But it, it does lift straight out. And if you go back over here, you can see the three pins that are here. Now, these pins slide out too. So you may end up, in our case, I ended up with one of these pins literally locked into the bushing. And I had to, the cone, and I had to, we had to put it in a vise to get it out. Um, these pins are very, very uh, hard steel, so they, you can't even scratch the things uh, if you wanted to. So they're, they're pretty tough. Um, but you got to obviously have the three pins in the bulkhead. Um, and then if you look at the next picture here, you'll see the three holes in the cone that you're going to be sliding the, the cone on over. Um, 
so if you do have to have problems with your bulkhead slipping this is the culprit um, and then you just put all of the stuff back together i'm going to do another video on in installing the prop so you can see um, how that went but uh, that's really all there was to taking the prop off the airplane